welcome back to Ask Ray. It's a new feature where you ask me questions and I'll do my darndest to get you an answer. We had a great response to last week's episode. A lot of questions came in, some really good ones, some thought-provoking ones, and of course there were some snarky ones as well, but that's kind of to be expected. Uh, so let's just get to it. We had two questions that came, the same question from a couple different people, from Randolph and Marlene. I don't know if they know each other, but they had the same question. And that is, did Churchill Downs uh, get their new starting gate? It's a 20-stall gate from Australia. Uh, the answer to that is yes, it's arrived in Louisville, but it is not quite ready to be used because Churchill, like a lot of businesses in Kentucky, is under the healthy at home orders of the governor. They don't have uh, full staff at Churchill Downs yet, so they haven't had a chance to to really get the starting gate set up. But it will be ready in time for the Derby, uh, scheduled for September 5th. It's going to be a huge improvement from the two-gated system of the past decades when the auxiliary gate, a lot of the times horses come out of that gate and they take a left-hand turn. They end up compromising some of the horses on the outside of the main gate. It's oftentimes a mess. So I think this is a huge improvement. Congratulations to Churchill Downs. Another starting quest, starting gate question is from Carol, who wants to know why does the starter oftentimes stand on the track in front of the gate instead of in that little stand on the other side of the rail? Well, Carol, that's above my pay grade. So I went to Gary Brinson, who's been a starter in California for something like 38 years. Gary's one of those starters that stands on the track. He says he gets a better view of the starting gate from there. And he, his, his whole objective is to give everybody a fair start, and he thinks he can do it better from the ground than he can from the stand. If something goes wrong, he said he can also get up there more quickly and take corrective action if needs to be done. Gary did say there's been a couple times where he's almost gotten run over by a horse that came out of the starting gate and bolted, took a left-hand turn, almost ran him over. So far, it hasn't happened. And I'm not really aware of any other starters who have been trampled by a horse after the start, so that's good. Final question this week is from Troublemaker Tom, who wants to know, is it true that a camel is a horse that was formed by a committee? Well, Tom, you're right. A camel is a horse designed by a committee, and I can prove it. It's from Alan Sherman in 1964, the old comedy guy that did uh, Hello Mudda, Hello Fada, Here I Am at Camp Granada. He had a, he had a uh, comedy bit that he recorded uh, with the Boston Pops Orchestra called Peter and the Commissar. And here's just a little segment of it. These people on committees, they sit there all day and they each put in a color and it comes out gray. Gray is a nice color, but not if you've ever seen orange or red or yellow or blue or green. And we've all heard the saying, which is true as well as witty, that a camel is a horse that was designed by a committee. Well, horse racing has so many committees. We have committees for everything. Let's count our blessings that we're betting on horses and not camels. We'll see you next week. Send those questions in to Ask Ray. You can email me, look for the button on the homepage, Thanks so much for joining us this week.